y'all. It's all of Destiny. So we're back with another maintenance day routine, a little self-care vibes. So today I'll be doing my pedicure again at home. Also doing my acrylic nails. So a quick fill-in and design change. And then I'll be showing you all my lazy girl deep condition routine for my natural hair. I said I ain't messing with her unless she real, real fine. <laughs> you feel me? So I had made it in from being out all day and I finally decided that I was going to go ahead and do my pedicure. It was going to be like a self-care moment for me to just relax and just spend a little time with myself basically. A few of my nails have lifted so I wanted to get rid of those. I needed to rebuild those from scratch. Temporarily you can put like a little nail glue underneath but... <sighs> I already tried that a few times. It's time to just remove this nail. <laughs> so I'm using my nail clipper to just trim that all the way down. And the nails that are still on without lifting, we're going to do a design change. And all of that in this video starts to finish. So since I have gel on my nails, I'm going to use my drill to remove that. I get lots of questions about this drill, but it was gifted to me from a company who... I don't know like the brand name of it or anything like that because it's not labeled. And that was so long ago that I wouldn't even be able to find it in my emails if I wanted to. But I like this drill a lot. I'm doing like a medium speed to remove the top layer of the gel. You know how you do like your top coat, the shiny coat? So I want to remove that. That way when you begin to soak your nails off, I remember y'all told me once you got to remove like their top layer first in order to soak them. I don't like for my nails to grow out too far, but since I hadn't done them in about three weeks, they've grown out a bit. So I'm going to trim them down using a nail clipper. The nail kit that I'm using is from Amazon. It comes with the pedicure tools, manicure tools, and a few skincare tools as well. I'll link it down below for you all. And it comes inside of the case. You can use the drill to remove all of the gel. That's how they do it whenever I would go to get my pedicures professionally done. But I'm still trying to warm up to using the drill. Sometimes I'd be a little hesitant, especially if it'll get hot in some areas. Like once you have that happen to you one time, if y'all are like me, I get scarred to it. And I just be like, mm, I'm nervous. So if you've ever wondered why the girls love gel polish over nail polish, it's because it grows out very very evenly you don't have like any color fade no chipping of the polish at all like the gel is there forever so I'm going to trim the nails down to the length that I usually prefer which is just like level with my skin so the same way your nails can lift your acrylic extension can lift as well about two or three pedicures back I did an acrylic extension to one of my nails because it was kind of chipped and it wasn't giving me that perfect shape that I love since it was just hanging on by a thread I was, there's a proper way to soak it but when it's hanging like that already it was just basically gonna lift but the extension is kind of temporary for me Anyway, it serves the purpose of just kind of giving you that length that you need until your natural nail grows out. So now that it's come off and my length is back, ooh, we good, baby. My nephew was over and he was like, ooh, put, can you do mine? So I took a little pause to kind of just give him like a quick little basic pedicure as well. To further remove the gel, I'm going to use my soak off clips and 100% acetone. You just want to apply a bunch of the acetone to the cotton ball and then apply that to the nail. These are the soak off clips for your hands. They got some for your feet, girl, but I ain't ordered them yet. So I'm just improvising. Once you soak for about 10 minutes, use a nail file and gently remove off the part of the gel that has kind of softened up a bit. Reapply it, let it soak some more, and then keep repeating that process until all of the gel is off. I didn't remove all the gel, but I was like ready to get to my pedicure, so I'm going to take my petty soak and apply that just a little bit because the bubbles go crazy and then I'm going to use the remaining products from my pedicure spa kit it's like a four-step process since I do my own pedicures a lot the package kind of lasts me about two to three pedicures so I'm just using everything that I have left I like to allow my feet to soak for about 15 minutes before I begin the process So I'm going to use this pumice stone and I like to push back the cuticles after I've soaked for a while. You can push your cuticles back before soaking. Just kind of get a feel for if it works better for you to push back your cuticles either before or after soaking. I like to do a little bit of both sometimes. When I'm doing my pedicures, honestly, I just kind of wing it and it's just self-care for me. I'm zoning out. I like to play relaxing music or I'll listen to something encouraging or motivational while I'm doing my nails. After that, I like to go ahead and I remove the dead skin on the sides. There's a better tool for this. I'm going to have to order it because the kit that I have didn't come with one. But I like to remove that dead skin, usually on the sides of the big toe and the pink. And I like to make sure that I'm cleaning underneath the nails as well to make sure that there's nothing under there that just should not be under there. After that, I like to perfect the shape. The shape that I prefer is a little straight, kind of French-like, 
Um, so you can do like rounded edges, kind of like the curved look if you would like, whatever you prefer, French or American. And I like to go in after that with the Jenna Petty Scrub. This comes in like an entire kit, I'll link it down below. And I basically massage this all over my feet. Sometimes I'll extend this scrub to the legs as well, since that's what they do at the salons. And I massage this scrub all over, it's helping to remove any dead skin. Now this tool right here, if you don't get nothing else, you need this in your daily shower routine. I keep one of these in my shower. If you want soft feet and they just feel oh so delicious and oh so good, like no dead skin, like what dead skin, baby? You take this and then you just massage it all over the bottom of the heels. Pause for a second, check with your hands to see like, okay, where else do I need to run this little pumice block? I'm telling you, like, your feet gonna be so soft. For a moment, let's pause and talk about the importance of just taking care of your feet, not just for the sake of, oh, she has a pretty pedicure color, okay, pretty white toes. For me, it's so much more than that. Taking care of your feet, that's your body's foundation. Your feet keep you grounded. So it's very important to me for your overall health. You'd be surprised how many health conditions sometimes could be related to like lack of care when it comes to taking care of your feet. The same way showers are important, I personally think it's important to make sure that you maintain good hygiene in all areas and that's why it's important to me to take care of my feet. It ain't just about pretty white toes. That's like the finishing touch. Even if you don't polish your nails at all, to me I just find it important to make sure that your feet are taken care of. Guys and girls. Hello. <laughs> like that's your mobility, okay? So to smooth out the nails, I'm using a buffing block. This will help to remove any ridges. It further removes some of that gel nail polish and it gives you a smooth appearance, especially for applying any nail polish or gel nail polish. Take some acetone and quickly swipe that over the nails just to remove any fouling and buffing dust. And then I'm going to take the lotion that came in the pedicure kit and just apply that all over the feet. I think this kit is probably like under ten dollars on Amazon and when you pick like the deluxe pedicure at the salons y'all I used to pay a hundred dollars for my pedicure imagine taking that same one hundred dollars and investing it in yourself for your pedicures and just like adding items to your cart on Amazon and speaking of adding things to your cart on Amazon y'all I got this new nail kit just to like try something new so I could recommend something new and I'm like this is exactly why I just stick to what I love because the polishes was like messing up on me y'all gonna see so I gotta give it another try before I can fully recommend it but either way step one was applying the base gel and then I'm going to cure that in my UV lamp for two minutes and my preference is white my new rule for myself is white do something different white pick something different so since I just had French it was my turn to rotate back to white for myself you want to make sure that you're applying this in thin coats because you can always go in with another coat and the thing about gel is if you put it on too heavy it's gonna like wrinkle it's gonna bubble up it might just lift off immediately so following the instructions since this kit was new for me it said to not wipe off the tacky layer of your base gel which was the clear coat that I applied and I like to make sure that I remove any of that excess on my skin before curing the nails so whether you're using a regular nail polish or if you're using a gel polish the difference is that the gel would have to be cured under the UV lamp my order of the steps is the same. So you do your base gel polish, two coats using your color of choice, and then you do your top coat. So since this was a new kit and I'm following the instructions, I didn't wipe off the tacky layer. When you use gel after you cure it, it's like a sticky layer basically. You want to wipe it off. Don't listen to the instructions saying, don't wipe it off, wipe it off, because this ended up happening. And I knew that that would happen. I'm recording! I'm not at home, y'all. I'm trying to do my voice so <laughs> So it peeled off like that and I was like, you know what, I don't have time for this. But I lost the clips. I went back to my original white that I always use, which is by Madam Glam. Um, I don't have the polish with me where I am, so I'll put it on the screen when I Google and it. And then I put my clear coat on top. And voila, apply some lotion, girl. Throw on a favorite pair of heels. These are by Jessica Simpson. Easy to walk in. And an attention getter, okay? And that's my pedicure. Get it to it! Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I like when my feet be done and my hands get it to it. It make you feel so good. Like, so good about yourself. Ooh, them 
white toes just hit every time. If you know, you know. The girls, they giddy, giddy, baby. And they wear white toes because they giddy, period. <laughs> Ratchet Destiny clearly want to talk to y'all. So let's just let her do the voiceover so she want to take over so bad. In the previous match in this video, this was the set that was done. I lost about three nails because I've been wearing this, like, set of nails different designs since like June. So I'm gonna use my drill to remove the original design since this is gel nail polish, that's why I'm using the drill. If it was nail polish, you can just take acetone and wipe it right off. And then after removing the original design, I'm gonna take these nippers to remove all of the bling. So since I'm not soaking these nails off and started from scratch, I do have to keep the original shape, but I am going to perfect the shape using a hand file and drill as well. And then I kind of make sure that I'm cleaning up the grown out portion just by kind of going along that area using the drill to kind of make it a little more flat since we need to fill in that area or just a little more flush with the natural nail bed so i'm perfecting the shape a little bit more since wear and tear you kind of lose your shape over time if you want to you can drill all the way down to remove the ombre that you all see on my ring finger since that was done with acrylic that's how it would have to be removed it's not a big deal to me if y'all saw the previous video, you all know that I've just kind of been designing on top of that. Nails by Shauna did originally do this set, like I said, back in June. Her work is just really good, and they just, they haven't come off, girl, so yeah. So I'm going to push back my cuticles, and then I'm going to take this bit. This one is like a pumice type of bit, so I'm going to swap that out. Um, that's like the McCart kit that I have. I'll link it down below. Everything I use, I get from Amazon, except for my UV lamp. That's from eBay, like 2015 or 16 I think so I'm gonna clean up the cuticle area with this key with acrylic nails I feel like for me um, and making sure your nails last is making sure that you don't have any lifting lifting comes from either if you apply the acrylic onto your skin or if you don't push back your cuticles so if you don't push back your cuticles and you don't get that dead skin off of the nail bed the acrylic is sitting on top of it right so as the nail grows out it's growing out on top of that dead skin and it's just gonna lift Y'all, I was messing with my thumb and then it just came off. <laughs> said the original set was done in June. This is the third time that there's been a design change on this same set of nails. But when your nails, when you wear them a very long time like that, your natural nails grow out so much. I'm going to soak these off and this will be my last time doing like a fill-in and we'll start from scratch the next time I do my maintenance video when we do nails. So now let's tend to our colors of the day. The container that you see me getting these out of is from Michaels and then I mix up my own colors. Just get like a big jar of clear acrylic, buy some glitters from like Walmart or somewhere, like a craft store, mix them together. You can have any color acrylic that you want. So the blue was from the beauty supply store years ago. If acrylic expires, my bad we finna use it anyway and then i'm going to use these different colors by mia secret they come in like a little four kit from amazon and it's gold glitter was from sally beauty a couple of years ago and the liquid that i use is by mia secret as well i love the mia secret products if you like oh destiny i want to start doing my own nails i want to start saving money too but you got all this stuff i don't even know where to start i suggest ordering one of the mia secret kits from amazon it's like 20 bucks you can practice it's going to send you everything beginner friendly that you need to like practice doing your own nails so first i apply my dehydrator which was the first thing you saw me apply to the entire natural nail bed and then I like to sculpt my nails so I'm using these forms you can get like a whole roll of like 500 yeah <laughs> really like decent price on that as well and then after that I apply the primer this nail I'm going to do what I would consider like water marble but without marble so it's like all acrylic right and you kind of just want to slap the colors on and then blend them together and work them into the shape that you want and by kind of doing it in like this messy type of way you get like a mixed look to your acrylic which turns out really pretty and it makes it look as if you've like mixed your colors in some cool little way i don't know how to explain it <laughs> if you ever seen water marble then you get what i mean and then after that i'm going to cover the entire design using clear acrylic just to kind of encapsulate what we've done
So for the fill in, I start off by applying the nail dehydrator and then I go on top of that with the primer only to the natural nail. And then I take a very small amount of the acrylic and I apply that to the portion of the nail that's grown out. Blend that down and you'll be good to go. So I repeat that same process to do my fill-in on each nail that has grown out. And for the nails that I have to rebuild from scratch, I'm basically going to take about two or three acrylic balls. And I'd rather work small um, and kind of build the nail up, making sure that I'm attempting to match the length to the rest of the nail. Staying in frame is, ugh, that's a whole other topic for a totally different day. But yeah, so I try to get as close as I can to the cuticle, blend that all the way down. And if you kind of make a few mistakes, which I really did do on this nail, like it's a bad build, but that's where your fouling comes in. So I didn't really film me fouling and buffing, but you want to foul the nails with your drill and then buff them out. If you don't have a drill, use your hand foul, wash your hands, and then buff out the nails just a little bit. If you're going to use gel, you don't want to buff it too much because it's going to be too smooth and then the gel is not going to grip. So the polishes that I'll be using is Madam Glam. I thought I could cover this with like blue gel, but then I was like, mm, you can still see it. <laughs> I think if I would have maybe built the gel up a few layers, like I could have covered it. But then I was like, okay, let's try white. I'm still recording. So I'm gonna do white. good mr lincoln so in between each gel layer i make sure to wipe off the sticky layer you can just use like isopropyl alcohol to do that just like the clear one wipe that off with a cotton ball make sure that the alcohol is dry before you like put your next coat on by the way and then make sure you clean up any mistakes before curing i did like two or three coats of the white to make sure that i could cover that and then we're going to do like a marble so on this one i wanted to kind of do like a zebra type of like stripes but with the blue instead get it away oh and i'm kind of like purposely like wiggling the nail art brush as i do it so that it's not like a straight line but like a zigzag type of one yeah and i'm going to do the same thing on the pinky but i'm going to do it just only on the tip of the nail So as far as coming up with the designs, I usually just kind of like wing it or I'll ask somebody like, what's your favorite color? And then they'll tell me and then I just like go off of that basically. Um, but I just kind of like freestyle it on camera and just go for it. But right here, I'm just kind of like trying to figure it out. I was like, I want the ring finger to stand out, but what, how? So this is just me just leaving in the portion of me not knowing what I want to do. I took off the Swarovski and I was like, oh, that's cute, but I didn't keep that either. <laughs> oh, and that's a dotting tool that I'm using, by the way. And the thing I love about gel is I can play around with it and swirl it around like that until I get what I want. Like, if you don't put it into the lamp, Mr. Lincoln, <laughs> until you cure the gel, you can keep working with it to get the design that you want. I'm using the phone chart. Y'all see how everybody want to be famous? They all just want to be in the voice over so bad. Say hey. Say hey to them, supportive mom. Because <laughs> I'm recording. So now I'm just taking different colors, dropping them on the nails, and then you swirl it around like this. Come on, finish the voiceover, Mr. Lincoln. Explain what I'm doing. Watch the screen and tell them what I'm doing. She's just doing her nails, like just piling up to blue. Mm -hmm. And she's just doing it. And she putting the white stuff on it so it could look pretty. It looks pretty. <laughs> yeah. He's nodding, yes. Sweet. Tell them, tell them that I get lazy when I get to the thumbs, so that's all I came up with. Get lazy when she do her thumb. <laughs> but I, I look at her niggas, though. You're dope. looking at them right now? Yeah. Do they that, look good? Yes, yeah, they just look like oh, city girl ones. They look like city girls. <laughs> that's a good thing. <laughs> 
But yeah, I'm doing the top yes. coat now of gel, and then you cure it for two minutes. I cured each layer, like every step that you see me doing, I cured for two minutes. Make sure that you always move your gel polish out of the view of the light when you're curing your nails. I have to entertain myself because I chopped these videos up to a watchable length for you all, but let me just acknowledge the fact that it took me three hours to do my nails. So yeah, I'm drinking my water, watching some YouTube videos while I work. That's how we get it done. After I apply the top coat, I'm going to go ahead and cure for two more minutes and then wipe off the tacky layer. I like to go ahead and put away all of my things. That way I'm walking away from a tidy space again. And then I'm going to apply cuticle oil to all of my nails. I like the way this helps the nails to look. It also nourishes them from all of the work that we just did. <laughs> I apply cuticle oil daily, by the way. That's probably why my nails grow out so fast. So if you're trying to grow your nails out, get you a good bottle of cuticle oil and keep them nourished every day, especially because we wash our hands a lot. You don't want to like dry out your cuticles. And that's it. Apply a few rings. Most of mine are from Target. That's the set. Let me know what you all think. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I know y'all love the maintenance ones, so I'm going to try to do more of them more often. I just have to like collect the footage when I find things that need to be done. Let me know if something that you may want me to include in an upcoming maintenance video, period. Look at my nails, what? Nails done, toes done. Y'all asking me on Instagram for an updated wig video, so I'm gonna do a wig review next, but for now I want to show you all how I deep condition my hair. So I just washed my hair. I'll link my most recent wash day routine down below. But after I do that, I'm just adding in this hair mask. This is the Cream of Nature Pure Honey Hair Mask. In the last wash day routine, a few people had asked me about using certain products since I am aware of having scalp psoriasis. So with me having a dermatologist and the hair products that I use as far as that shampoo and ointment that I showed you all in my wash day routine. Different questions I do ask him about certain products. Is this okay? Is that okay? I don't even want to talk because I'm so stuffy. Um, the products that I do use, they don't have a negative effect on me having scalp psoriasis. Like it doesn't make it worse. I also pull in my hair to get out any loose strands from my hair basically being in a puff the last like five days and I wasn't combing it. <laughs> a few people were also asking me about uh, my hair growth and I've just come to the conclusion that less is more and I just leave it alone. Especially if I'm at home, I just make my hair look halfway kind of decent. So once I put a whole bunch of conditioner in my hair, this is all that I would do. And that's it. I'm gonna sit outside in my backyard and get some fresh air. Um, that's an alternative for me as opposed to sitting underneath the dryer and still being stuck in the house. Since I do work from home, some days I don't really have to leave or I don't really have air resorts. Where's the topic? To run or anything? So sitting outside with at least even with the cap on, it'll capture in some of the heat. And another thing that I was mentioning as far as my dermatologist, when I first started going, I was like, yo, I do wig reviews a lot. Is that the reason that I have scalp psoriasis? It has nothing to do with it. I mentioned to him about the lace. I actually was wearing a wig the first day I went when he wanted to look at my scalp and I had to like take it off. If y'all saw that video, I'll link it down below. Um, and I showed him the lace and everything like that because they did like a scalp biopsy and different things where they take a sample basically to kind of test in a lab to see and that's how it was determined that I do have scalp psoriasis. So the lace is not a problem, wearing wigs are not a problem and whenever I do maybe try new hair products, that's why I also don't try to switch it up too much. There are just certain things that I stay away from because I don't want to be can I say this? I don't want to be a guinea pig with testing new things and if I find what my hair loves, especially knowing I, I don't like to say condition because I don't feel like I have no condition, but um, that's that would be one of the reasons why I stick to what my hair likes. This one has no sulfates, no mineral oils. He did ask me at first was I getting relaxers um, and we kind of discussed that but y'all know I'm natural now. My nails are finished, my pedicure is finished, I'll insert b-roll to show you all, all of that. I hope y'all enjoyed this maintenance video. And if you all want to see what I would do to my hair once I rinse this out, like I said, you can check out my most recent wash day routine because I'm probably going to just do another wash and go. And yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed the maintenance one. I definitely want to come back with another one because you all, y'all like the maintenance videos. So I wanted to give you all what you love. And I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye.